You seem like a, like a constitutionalist to me. Are you? Uh, a little bit, yeah. Oh, I'm, I'm a lot a constitutionalist. This police officer in Alexandria, Louisiana, stopped Mario Rosales for failing to signal a turn. He says he's a constitutionalist. But how true is that? We're going to watch the video of this traffic stop and talk about the ways it both follows and violates the Constitution. First, this is the view from the squad car's dash cam. See the turn signal? It's clearly on, but immediately after the light turns green, Mario is pulled over. Signal. That's straight, pure, straight, honest answer. He failed the signal, so we stopped you. Um, and we're we're just talking to people after we stop. Okay? Unfortunately, the Supreme Court has said that police can engage in pretextual stops, meaning they can follow you until you commit a minor traffic infraction and then pull you over if they just have a hunch you've done something wrong. But pulling someone over without any reason to believe that they have violated the law itself violates the Fourth Amendment. So everything moving forward violates Mario's and Gracie's constitutional rights in this stop. At this point, Mario told the officers that he has a firearm in the car, but not on his person. The officers have no reason to believe Mario is lying or is otherwise armed and dangerous. He followed the officers every command, remained calm, and is not reasonably suspected of a crime, much less a violent one. So frisking Mario here was unconstitutional, even if the officers had pulled him over for legitimate reasons. Hey, can I have your permission to retrieve that firearm out of your gun, out of your uh, vehicle? Uh, no, I don't want anybody searching my vehicle. Okay, okay. cool. Mario knows they can't search his car for failure to signal. If police demand a search, you shouldn't try to stop them, but you never need to agree. In recent years, some officers have been captured on their own body cams planting drugs in the back of vehicles. These officers might be honest, but Mario doesn't know that and doesn't trust them since he's already been pulled over for no good reason. Hey, listen, I don't know if my partner's done this or not, but I'm going to do it, okay? Uh, you do have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can and will be used against you to call all to understand your rights. Yeah. Traffic stops are legal detainment. The reason I did that is I got a couple questions that may or may not pertain to your guilt or innocence, right? So I always advise before I ask those types of questions. Yeah, it goes to the the Fifth Amendment, right? So anytime you're not comfortable with one of my questions, you can say pass. Are you familiar with the Fifth Amendment? Anyone who's watched a cop show on TV is familiar with the Miranda warnings. They inform people of the right not to incriminate themselves when police are detaining and interrogating them. Do you mind emptying out your pockets for me on the hood of my car? No. Yeah, that's a question. Nothing else? Do you mind if I check? Hey, you grab my bar real quick. Do you mind if I check? Uh, Do you have something on you you're not supposed to have? I don't have anything on me. Yeah. The officers already frisked Mario for weapons. Now they want to search him for evidence of crimes, but the officers don't have a warrant, so they need to arrest Mario if they're going to search him without his consent. The implication is that if Mario refused to empty his pockets here, the officers would do it themselves or make the detention more unpleasant for him and his girlfriend. So Mario emptied his own pockets, but not voluntarily. That made this search unreasonable. I mean, I'd feel a lot safer if uh, she had her phone, she was able to record while you check me. Americans have a First Amendment right to record the police. Government officers can impose only reasonable restrictions in the time, place, and manner of the recording. They cannot impose a blanket ban on recording them at all. Saying that the officers themselves were recording the incident is no justification for their ban on others recording. The officers' recordings could have technical issues, they could get lost or worse, and they capture only the officer's point of view of the incident. Here, the officers had no legitimate reason to prohibit Mario and Gracie from recording on their phones. Have you ever been arrested for anything? No, Never. Never. Okay. Have a clean record. I got you. Any marijuana in the vehicle? No. Uh, meth. No. Uh, heroin. No. Fentanyl. No. Prescription pills not prescribed. No. Cocaine. Crack cocaine. No. I don't. I don't deal with drugs. I don't mess with any kind of illegal substances okay. or drugs. 
Here the officer asked Mario a bunch of questions, mainly about drugs. That's most likely the real reason they pulled Mario over, not the pretext of failing to signal that turn. This is a good time to remind you that you do not have to answer police questions. You can just politely decline. They had a hunch based on something, his appearance, his car, his out-of-state license plates, that Mario was involved in drugs. But even if Mario had failed to signal a turn, the officers are now unconstitutionally extending the stop for a free-form investigation of drug crimes. When police pull you over for simple traffic violations, they aren't allowed to detain you to ask questions about anything you might have done wrong. If they want to question you about other illegal activity, they need to reasonably suspect that you're involved in that illegal activity. Otherwise, they should promptly proceed with the ticketing process, then restore your freedom of movement. Do you live here? This is where I'm trying to uh, create my residence. Yes. So, where do you live? Where do you live? I got you. I'm so trying to get, because in order to make me change my address and all that, I need to get proof of residency. Yeah. So I've been having to swap over a lot of my bank statements yeah. and all that. So if you move from out of the have 30 days. The officers can't tell how long Mario has been living in Louisiana just by driving behind him. But they are fishing for crimes, big and small. Trying to be cooperative, Mario opened himself up to a citation about his registration by telling police about his complicated residency situation. The officers would later cite Mario for not switching his license plates and driver's license within 30 days. Did you call him up yet? Huh? Say what? Did you call that up yet? I would say that there's more to this than meets the eye. I would okay. check that and I would check this. Fail to signal. Fail to update his driver's license. Oh, here it comes 32. Oh, what are the chances Tim, of that? Thank you. Here the officers express shock that someone driving a bright red Mustang with out-of-state plates isn't a wanted criminal. This implies Mario was pulled over on a hunch and an imagined traffic violation was a pretext. But the Bill of Rights exists to prevent government officials from just going with their gut, even if that makes it easier to uncover crimes. Here, the officers couldn't uncover the crimes they were hoping to find, so they were disappointed. And it really makes you wonder, what about Mario Rosales made the officers so sure he was a drug dealer that they audibly reacted to his clean record? Check it out. This is citation. After a stop that should have taken less than five minutes took 20, the officers finally write Mario a ticket for failing to signal and not switching his registration. But Mario says he was lucky. I don't know what this was going to become, and I was more concerned. Uh, yeah, I was more concerned after I saw the, saw the police officer have her exit the vehicle. I honestly thought that I was not going to be able to drive away. I really thought in my heart they were going to arrest me for for something. This stop shows that polite, calm constitutional violations happen in America every day. Many of them end with people in the back of a squad car, or even worse. But they shouldn't happen at all. Law enforcement is an important function in a free society, but if we the people must follow the law, our government must follow the Constitution.